and today I'm going to show you how to record your gameplay off of any console. But for this example, I'm going to use the Wii. Okay, so the parts you need. You need two Y splitters. You need one dual-sided AV cord. You need your console AV cord, obviously. And you could use a Dazzle DVD recorder or a Pinnacle 500 USB, but for this I'm going to use a Dazzle. Okay, first you're going, you're going to plug the two Y splitters into the video and mono outputs. So if you just plug those in, that's the first step. For the next step, you're going to plug your AV cord into your console, this being the Wii. For the next step, you're going to take the end of your AV cord that's plugged into your console and plug in the yellow or video plug into the Y splitter that's plugged into the video output. You'll also do the same thing for the white plug or the mono sound output. And you'll just plug that in to the coupler that's plugged into the mono output. So it should look like this. Next you're going to use the dual AV cord. You're going to take one end and then plug the yellow video plug into the Y splitter that's plugged into the yellow video output on the TV. You will also do the same thing for the white plug or the mono video splitter. So we'll just plug that in. Having a little trouble. I'm only using one hand because I'm trying to videotape and do this at the same time, so pardon my unsteadiness. Okay, I'm just going to set the camera down and plug this in. Cause I, ah, there it is. Okay, so now it should look like this. This is the Y splitter that's plugged into the video output. And this is the Y splitter that's plugged into the mono output. Okay, so now we're going to use the Dazzle to almost finish this setup. We're going to take the end, the other end of the dual AV cord and plug in the yellow plug to the yellow input and the white plug to the white input. So I'll just Right so it looks like that. Finally, you'll take the USB end of the Dazzle and plug that into your laptop or computer, whichever. Now you'll notice that when I plugged in the USB co cord to the laptop and turned it on, that any tiny green light should go on on the left side of your dazzle. So that just shows that it's working. And finally this is what the setup should look like. You have your AV cord connected to your console. That's connected to both the Y splitters. And then your dual AV cord is connected to each of those Y splitters. Which is connected to the dazzle. And the Dazzle USB is connected to the laptop and you're all set to go. Okay, so now that the setup is complete, 
where I am going to show you how to how to capture your gameplay off of the Wii. The Pinnacle program, if you have a Pinnacle 500 USB or a Windows Movie Maker to capture it. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to capture it with Pinnacle. This should be the icon. Double click on it to open it. Then select Pinnacle Studio with the number 10 on it to open the software. Okay, so to capture it, you want to click on Capture at the top left corner of the screen. Now, if you have done the setup correctly, you should see the TV screen as long as you're in video mode up here in the top right corner in the preview screen. So if you see that and you want to capture it, choose this setting with the three dots for the best quality and then hit start capture. Now you can enter a name which I'll just leave as video one and I would say you want to select the first one stop catch capture when video or available space runs out I prefer to use that and I never use the smart movie option so that I can edit it my own way and then you'll hit start capture and right now it is capturing and up here you can see the file now when I hit stop capture to finish it it should stop it see the time has stopped okay so since I have my file I can go to edit and the video you just captured should be right there and you can move it down into the editing stage and if you have the Pinnacle 500 USB you should know how to use this software so I'll, I just won't get into all that okay so now I'm going to open Windows Movie Maker now almost everyone's familiar with this software so to capture you go to capture from video device still make sure that your USB is plugged in click on it then you should see this screen if you're using a Dazzle or a Pinnacle you should see the device right here and you want to click on that just to make sure and then for audio you want to select the device you're using so you scroll down I'm using the Dazzle so that's the last one so I'll click on that and then hit next name your video I'll just leave it how it is since it's a demonstration now you can choose best quality for playback on my computer or you could make your own settings but I choose the best quality so I think you should choose that and then if it's working properly properly then you should see your TV screen up here in the preview box and then you'll see all this there is start capture and there is stop capture right now it is stopped and it shows you how much video has been captured the size of the video file and how much space you ha have left on drive C so if you hit stop start capture it starts capturing it and notice that the time and the file size keeps going up as you go when you want to stop you hit stop capture and then hit finish it creates a file then you can drag the file down into the editing screen at the bottom but most of you already know how to edit so well I guess that's the end of my tutorial Thanks for watching.